Bob O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Look at us. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 111, NASDAQ off 21, S&P's down 16, gold contract up $8.20 trading at 1706 an ounce. You got silver up $0.03, cents, $15.71 an ounce, and a light sweet crude. Up a buck eighty, twenty-five dollars ninety-four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. We got the ten-year right now up ten ticks, trading one thirty-eight thirty. The thirty-year up a full point plus nine ticks at one seventy-nine twenty-five. And King Dollar, King Dollar down three hundred seventeen ticks, trading ninety-nine nine nineteen. The euro is at one. The yen is at one o seven point two six, and the British pound is at one twenty-two to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Let's go over to the future market first. We'll take a look at the E-minis. Uh, E-minis out here, folks. You had a uh, high out here uh, at, uh, let's see, at uh, 10 minutes of uh, nine, uh, 10 this morning, uh, 29.39. Uh, bottom line, you're 29.05. This is pressing the bottom uh, of the range that it's been in all day. And uh, I suspect we're going to be right down into this. Uh, 29, no, 28.99 once again. We just hit that about 30 minutes ago. I suspect we're going to be uh, down into that area once again. We take a look at the NQs, which no doubt continue to be the strongest indice out here. Uh, they got up to a high today of uh, 93.45. Right now you're at 92.62. Uh, so the bottom line is that they are not holding price. We go take a look at the SPY itself. And what you're going to see, we've been up at these levels. And the bottom line, uh, if we take a look at the SPY, the SPY's laying at the same level that we've been at here for about two weeks right now. Uh, 294. Uh, 88 is the high. We hit 294.24 out here today. Uh, we had anemic volume out here yesterday, by the way, folks, and it was 79 million. We're not going to even do 79 today as I try to get into that high. Uh, we actually, let's see. Yeah, we get over the high. That's, uh, so that's, that's going to set up another failure in price, failure in volume. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX, the way the NDX is set up right now, the three Qs. Uh, three Qs up here. That has been up on air also, but the bottom line is up, uh, trying to basically get to its highs. The highs in the NQs are 237. Uh, we made it up to 228.09 today. The high of yesterday was uh, 227.93. And um, you're 26 million, and that's also probably... Um, I don't think you're going to get to 25 million shares or 9, uh, 10 million, 9 million shares rather into the close. So more than likely that's going to set up uh, failure on price, failure on volume. Gold, gold contract out here. We're trading up eight bucks. We hit a 16.93 uh, was the low out here of the range today. 17.16 is the high. Uh, you're building cars, folks. The bottom line is staying uh, above the trading range, you're in a new trading range, you got an ABC structure up with about an 18, 20, 25 handle out here. We're going to take a look at the note and bond market. Notes and bonds, first we'll take a look at the 10-year uh, note. What we have out here inside the 10-year note right now is trading up nine ticks. You get a million contracts that are traded out there. That's actually just a sideways move with light volume. That's how that baby is set up. What we do have out here today is that the feds are, this was the first day that they're in the ETF market uh, for the mortgage. Uh, bottom line, yesterday they bought $250 million. Uh, we'll see uh, what they uh, end up buying out here today. Dollar. Dollar index are down 306 ticks. We are trading 99.920. Now, what's going to get really intriguing out here, folks, is this. Let me show you this for a second. Okay, so here it goes. Oh, no, that's, that's going to be the... One second. Because what we have here is that you have the largest fund in the world that is going to be selling uh, $37 billion in equities. And what you have here, 
this is in the Netherlands, and the bottom line is that this is one of the, well, this is the heaviest owner of equities in the world, folks. And if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, I'm putting up here, this is their portfolio. Okay, so the portfolio is in the trillions. Uh, these are the largest positions. So what you have happening here is that the whole universe of money managers are going to be saying, okay, what are they going to sell? Because it's very unusual. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. Uh, the, the bottom line is that uh, when you have the, one of the largest owners of equities in the world um, basically saying that, okay, they want to sell some of these equities to get cash to do other deals. Uh, hey, we'll, we'll see how this uh, baby shakes out. But if you happen to be watching this, the largest holding is Apple. They, this is quite a portfolio, man. Just check this portfolio up when you take a look at the largest holdings. It's pretty intense. The top 10 holdings represent a 9.65% of their whole portfolio. And Apple's number one. Uh, they get 45 million shares of Apple. They get Microsoft. They get 75 million shares of Apple, uh, uh, Microsoft. They get 6.6 .6 million of Google. They have 75 million of Nestle. They have 4.2 million of Amazon. They get 19 million of Roach Holdings, 205 million of Royal Dutch Shell, 27 million Alibaba, 25 million Facebook, and 20, 55 million in Novartis. So, you're going to be hearing about this uh, left and right the next few days because uh, the bottom line is that uh, what the financing world is going to know, want to know is what are they selling uh, because that's, that's going to put pressure on those equities, folks, in a big way. That's, that's the bottom line because, of course, once you start selling something, the real question is, you know, what Who's the buyer on the other side of it? And in this particular case, uh, what is pretty wild, actually, is that they basically, uh, when you look at a lot of those equities in their top 10, those, those equities have made uh, quite a run back, uh, there's no doubt about it, uh, into uh, their highs. That's, uh, that's how this thing, baby is set up. You know, if we do go into the NDX 100, the bottom line is that uh, NDX uh, reached, uh, what, 93.54 today, and you reach 93.54, you're going all the way back to uh, February 7th, which is pretty amazing. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Jason Path. We're going to be talking travel, dining, movies, mortgages, malls, bonds, energy, all of the above. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.